Kim Miller begins now. Good evening everyone. First tonight, the Premier has spoken in defence of the government's handling of a report into child sexual abuse in Tasmania schools. The report was completed five months ago, but only released earlier this week. On the defensive, the Premier addressing a report on the Education Department's handling of sexual abuse allegations for the first time. We began the process within education of ensuring that our kids were safe, Mr Speaker, and the matters that were raised and the recommendations that were made were followed up. The report was completed five months ago. The Education Minister not briefed until six weeks later. When the department uh, was provided with a copy of report, uh, they obviously considered that. They swiftly stood up the Office of Safeguarding Children. Uh, I was verbally briefed on that date. It was then released in full earlier this week. Yet the minister tried to cover up this by not disclosing immediately when she had this report and providing it in full. I'm not going to comment on the, the dates of release. As Seven Tasmania News reported yesterday, several relief teachers with records of complaint against them have now been stood down. Three staff members remain subject to code of conduct investigations. The Premier says while his government can't change the past, it can shape the future. Because when they look back in decades to come, Mr Speaker, they will see that this government, this parliament, had the courage to ask the questions that needed to be asked. In the upper house, controversial gaming laws dominated for a second day. Independent Meg Webb speaking for more than four hours on the bill, lashing out at the two major parties, accusing them of being beholden to the industry. It's not so much the benefit of financial support. I'd suggest it's the gut-wrenching fear that the financial weight of the industry will be thrown against them. Labor MP Josh Willey defending his party's change in poker machine policy last night. The opportunity for significant reform was in 2018. That opportunity has passed. Debate now set to stretch into a second week. Meg Sides, 7 Tasmania News.